Hey, this is Jeff from PhotoWalk Pro, and today I want to show you how I created a very cool little pano when I was shooting at the uh, Las Vegas Boneyard with uh, Chris Orwig, David Dushman, uh, Matt Klaskowski, and a bunch of other people that won a contest, and we had a great time. But when I was there, I created this pano, and it was not a regular pano. It was actually a pano made from three um, of these uh, fisheye uh images and I learned this while sitting at the keynote to Photoshop world so I knew you could actually do some really cool panos inside of Photoshop but I didn't know it had built-in um, corrections for my fisheye lens and so I kind of learned this while I was sitting there I said you know what um, I did this shoot after the keynote and I said I'm gonna give it a try so here's my three images one two three and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go down here to the uh, the thumbnail script and I'm just gonna Hold the shift key and highlight all three of those and then I'm going to right click on them and I'm going to say edit in Photoshop but what I want to do is I want to actually take it down not just Photoshop I'm going to go ahead and go straight to uh, merge to panorama in Photoshop and uh, yeah it's telling me I don't have my camera raw plug in 5.5 but that's okay because I have the current version of Lightroom loaded so it's going to do the proper rendering of my, my raw files Alright, so here we are in Photoshop, and here's the Photo Merge panel, and I'm not going to do anything over on the left, I'm going to leave it on Auto, but what I am going to do, and this is what I learned sitting there in, uh, in the keynote, is that I can click on this little thing down here that says Geometric Distortion Correction, and that will correct for my fisheye lens. I'm also going to click on Vignette Removal because you do get some vignetting using that fisheye. And since those three images are loaded, I'm going to go ahead and click on the OK and let Photoshop go to work. And uh, you can see now it's starting to load those images. And if you look over on the right side here, you'll see that it's actually um, kind of, let me zoom in here a little bit. There you can see it's actually taking and loading all three of those. And here's the process where it's one, two, three. And then it's going to start stitching and putting those all together. All right, let me zoom back out here and see what we've got here. Okay, you can see there is a progress bar. Now, the one thing I did notice when I made this is that it's not going to give you a perfect edge on your panorama, and you'll see what I mean in a minute. And that's because it has to kind of do some perspective correction while it's lining up these images because of the fisheye. And so I've noticed that I get some very funky edges while doing this. Um, but anyway, the, the, the process is pretty much seamless. There's not really anything you have to do except let it do its thing. All right, so here it is. It's now actually going through and done the alignment, and now it's blending all three of those images together so that all of the skies will come out and look basically like one large panoramic sky. And I think I can zoom out while I'm doing this here. So let me see if I can zoom out. Well, it actually wants me to wait. Here we go. All right, this is what I was talking about. Now check this out. This is an unbelievable little action here. It took everything I had there and it's put it all together. These are fish island images that put it all together and look at that. Now you can see what I mean about the kind of funky little, you know, edges here. I mean, you look at those edges, they're pretty crazy. But um, really the only thing I need to do with this is to um, get my ruler tool and I'm going to just uh, click and drag this here so I can straighten out this line here. I'm going to go up to image. I'm going to go to image rotation and arbitrary. It's going to take that measurement that I took with the ruler and automatically do that and straighten it. It's going to automatically put those values in because it's looking at what I, I did with that uh, uh, measurement tool. Then I'm going to go ahead and get my crop tool. Just hit the letter C and I'm going to crop this image down into a very cool panorama. And nothing against these people right here, but I'm going to just knock them out a little bit. All right, and let's see, anything else I can do here? I can drag it down just a little bit here, and that's it. I'm going to hit Enter to finish this off. And then the last thing I would do, actually, is I would go ahead and go over to my menu here and flatten my image. And there you have it, one really cool pano image made from three fisheye images. Very cool stuff, and I didn't even know it was there. All right, this is Jeff from PhotoArc Pro. You have a great day.